seen me react to Birds in the Trap Sing Midnight six years ago. You seen me react to Yo Rodeo three years ago. You seen me react to Astro World five years ago. Bitch, we are here, nigga. If you ain't standing up, you a bitch. If you ain't like the video right now, you a bitch. If you ain't subscribed right now, you a bitch. Try this. Dude, dude, we're here, man. We're here. Um, I don't even know what to even say. It is currently, look at the time. It ain't even, it ain't even, it ain't even. It's it's 1 a.m. right now. An hour before the A, I have not seen no opinions. I have not seen anything. I'm not in the mood to see anything. I want to take this in myself, suck all this shit in. I'm going to suck it all in. I'm ready. Hidden features. The benches are hidden. They're hidden. They're hidden. They're hidden. They're hidden. These hoes is hidden. Is K-pop on here? Is K-pop on? Fuck. Okay, K-pop's on here. I'm skipping it. <laughs> Track one. Hyena? Hyena? Oh, bitch. Dude, that, that, that album cover? Nah, y'all need to see my eyes for this. That album cover, fire. That album cover, fire. I fuck with that album cover. Ooh, that shit just made me want to take my shirt off. Track one, Hyena. The situation we are in at this time we were good ones. Uh-uh. Turn this all the way up. Turn this all the way up. Everyone stand up. Holy shit! This ain't loud enough. It's not loud enough. It's not loud enough. I hear the sirens right out the shack. Trying to hear what you deny, you can't close. Cause I give up a hit. I'll break my headset if I have to. I'll break my headphones if I have to. This sample sounds so familiar. This sample sounds so familiar. I don't know who, who the fuck is here. Who the fuck is here? Ooh. This is a way to start. This is this, this, this is the way to start. That that album cover is beautiful. Ooh. He hit the he. Hit, he hit the he hit the he hit the features on on K-pop and we already know who on it. That's how you know it's gonna go hard. We already know who on it, but we gonna pretend like we don't know who on it. Mother Earth is pregnant for the third time. I have tasted the negative in the mind of the universe. I was not a fit. Ooh! It make me wanna watch my TV. Watch me. Transitions. 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 That shit, that, that shit sound like I'm in Wakanda. That shit like, fuck, I got a song in my queue. Oh my God, bro, you're shitting me. Why does this happen every single time a fucking album come out, man? Oh my God, should I restart that? Should I restart that? I forgot I put Hikaru Utada in my shit. I'm restarting it, nigga. This the situation we are in at this time need. What does that remind me of though? That sample. That sound it sound like a public enemy sample. It sounds like a public enemy sample. Wait, 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 wait. It sounds like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It sounds like a public enemy sample though. It's on the tip of my tongue. Okay, this shit is out of control. This is a good opening track though. Bro, that that baseline is hard. That baseline is hard. I don't got no genius up, nothing. Did he just say he pull up to the Met Gala like he Jesus? I fuck with this intro, like, it's proof that I fuck with it. I had to replay it twice. If y'all think that I'm gonna let a, a, a shuffle song fuck up the vibe, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I know what, I know what angle this is going at. Like, no genius open or anything. I'm trying to spread it. Is that Sway Lee? That's... Sway Lee? Am I am correct? Sway Lee? Is Kanye on this? It's called Thank God. Is Kanye on this? Okay, that's Sway Lee in the back. I know it is. 
That's Sway Lee. I'm locking it in. That's Sway Lee. It's Sway Lee. No pressure. Thank God I breathe. Cause shit I speak is what they need. Let's fill over steps. I guess gotta win the shit back. The beats are hard hitting. Like these beats are hitting hard. Give me a piece. Better we killing the critics and killing the hate. Might gotta talk to a priest. Give him a minute. We're flying up the side. No candles. I can feel it coming in the air tonight, oh lord, and I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. I've gotta, I've got, I've gotta open up these. Who the hell is this? Who is this? Is Tito touchdown? Tito touchdown? Tito touchdown. He's making moves. Wow. Was Tito Touchdown the one that commentated the beginning track? Can we can we get some Tito Touchdown appreciation right now? Can we please? I am so proud of Tito Touchdown and the shit that he has been able to accomplish for literally the last two years. Showed up on the Tyler album, did phenomenal on the Tyler album. Popped up on the Don Tolliver album, did his thing on there. I am so proud of that man. Like, I am a, a big, big fan of T and then like and also popped up on the Yachty joint as well. Bro, the Tizo touchdown stock is insane. I love Tizo touchdown. I'm happy that he's here. Shout out to Travis for grabbing Tizo touchdown. I am I am just shocked right now. I am so proud. Wow. Tizo touch. Wow. That genuinely has me shocked. Wow. It honestly makes sense because Tizo Touchdown gives off that good energy. He gives off that ragey energy because he does like the rock, like aggressive rap type of, well, not aggressive, but he has that rock star look. He has that rager look, especially with his delivery as well. Dude, wow. Wow. Track for, wow, what the fuck? Track for my eyes. I feel like someone's been an RKO out of nowhere. Who Rolling poly on my wrist. Gotta make a play big day. I'm swimming by kiss. What is going on right now? Is that Gibeon? That's not. Is that. Man, it's like I'm playing charades. Who is that? Is that Sampa? Who the hell was that? I like the production so far. These, these beats sound so clean. There's nothing in here. Who the fuck was that? Was that was I right? Was that Gibeon? Sampa? Was that Sampa? I knew it! Sampa! It's so hard hitting! Ooh. That shit hard! It's hard! Waking up, I see the light! This is second so this is second song with God's name in it. If Kanye's not here, we're gonna have problems. If Kanye's not here, we're gonna have problems. Ooh. Dude, if this doesn't have Kanye, I'm gonna be upset. 
if this doesn't have Kanye, I'm going to be upset. Pause real quick. Pause real quick. Am I tripping through these first five songs? I'm not going to lie to y'all. I really, and, and dead ass, because I'm, I'm not a Travis Ryder. Like, a few days ago, I listened to Rodeo, and I'm like, dude, Trap Classic. Trap Classic when I was listening to it. But is it me, or when I'm listening to it, these beats sound so good. And what I mean by so good, like, they sound like they're in such good quality. Is that just me? I feel like the, the mixing has been good. Okay, I'm not gonna cap, though, on the on the first few seconds of my eyes, that nigga's vocals was a, a little choppy. I ain't gonna cap on you. But other than that, he sounds so, like, I'm, be, I'm gonna keep it a stack with me. I mean, I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. It sounds like this nigga sitting right in front of me finna cause a fucking controversy on God. It feel like this nigga standing right there, shirt off, and he naked. It dead at, like this, the quality of this thing so far, like I said, sounds so good. The production sounds so good. Like it just sounds like they actually took their time with this to make sure that they get the best quality stuff out. Cause you know, oh, I don't even know how to explain it. I honestly really don't even know how to explain it. The beat sound like the only way that I can explain it is it just sounds so fresh. Like, it doesn't sound rushed. Like, they actually made sure, okay, that sounds good now. That sounds fresh now. That sounds really good. I got an example. That's like when you go to the grocery store, right? You look at the bottom of that bitch. Like, you look at the bottom of that motherfucker, and you're like, oh, shit. This motherfucker not going to expire until 2024. Or it's like some canned goods. This shit ain't never going to expire. Right when you open this shit years up later, this shit's still good, nigga. It's still hit. That's what the beats sound like. The beats sound like canned goods. That sounds bad. That sounds bad. But trust me, it's not bad. This shit sound fresh as hell. It sound like that lobster. I ain't even. I ain't never even had lobster before. But am I going to compare it to some lobster? Yeah. It, the beats sound like crab dipped in butter. That's what it sound like. It sound buttery. My mouth watering right now. Track six, Sirens. <laughs> This is a crazy beat. That's African type beat. Like his vocals sound so good, bro. Am I tripping? That's why I said it sound like it's coming off the tongue. What is this Illuminati shit? How do they think it is? How do they think? I thought we were going to Utopia. She said this is a Utopia. Who the hell is this? Yeah, it looks perfect to me. That's Drake? Yeah. Drake! Tension is definitely rising. Drake! Right now. Sick, trust me, daddy. Trust me, daddy. Teach like I got a couple of this shit. Teach a quarter to six. I love the fuck on the regular bitch. That shit, yeah, act like you love this American shit. What the fuck is this? When they hear this shit, don't talk to the boy about comparison. She produces me. She asking for bread for her parents and shit. I told her I don't got off from your boss. Give a fuck about all of that hair. Don't come to the boy about sparing some shit. You learn some shit. Ooh. After one three, then we turn up a level seven to live it. Me at the house of free Jeff, we can make a let call. I'm not gonna say free thug, but free thug. Yeah, I go back and pee. I got the juice. Ooh, rest in peace, Tupac. Rest in peace, Tupac. This shit hot. This shit a just slapper. It's sicko mode part. It's sicko mode part two. It's sicko mode part two. I repeat, sicko mode part two. What? We're busting nuts. That's just insane. Women out here living life on rookie mode. What about me, Travis? Why can't I have the baby? But like, go. You can't just say that. You can't just say that. But I'ma let it slide though. Oh my god. I'm sweating. I'm so the, the the hoodie about to come off. The hoodie about to come off. Oh my yo. The hoodie about to come off. I don't have anything on underneath. 
Hey, look at the album cover. That's exactly how I'm gonna look in like a few months. I'm on a weight loss, down nine pounds. Just come outside for the night. Take your time. Who the hell is that? Who the hell is that? Check West? Is that still Travis? I'm about to get naked. Rick Ross? Bacardi! Did I just say Rick Ross? Bitch, was that Cardi Atlas? Who the hell is is that Yachty? That's co- This nigga brought on Homicide Gang? Who the fuck was that? On here it said Cardi got a verse. Who the fuck is that imposter? Who the- I heard the ad lib, but who the fuck is that? <laughs> That's Cardi right there. Yes. That's Cardi, yes. What? Homicide, 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 homicide. That's Bino. That's either Bino or Michi because Cardi didn't get a verse. Cardi for sure was on the ad libs. I heard the what? I heard that. I heard that. And I was right. Sheck West was at the beginning. But that for sure, like, for sure. Is that Cardi's ass with the deep voice? Is that him? That had to be, that had to be Bino because that didn't even sound like... Track 9, Del, Del Resto? <laughs> Queen B? Beyonce? Beyonce? Oh! I, I spread my shit for Beyonce. I spread my shit for me. Spread my shit for me. I spread my shit. Bro. Yo. Is that Young Thug? At this, at this point, at this point, I'm just saying anybody motherfucking name at this point. I said is that Young Thug. I said is it Rick Ross earlier. But hey, I got some of them shits right though. I did say it was a song, but I did say if it was Sheck West. I did say Giveon at one point because it dead as I'm not Sampha did sound like Giveon a little bit, but then I was like, nah, that's Sampha. I am still going back to the production side of things, dude. This I'm not and I'm not joke. I'm literally not kidding. Like this is not on on some riding shit, dude. With these headphones in right now, and I feel like people that don't have headphones in or people that are just listening straight through the speaker, I feel like you you got to get the full experience with these on because I'm telling y'all. And I'm not, right now my hip hop album of the year is 100,000% still scaring the hoes by JPEG Mafia and um and Danny Brown. You know, the, the beats on there did sound nice. You obviously know that the beats on there will be extremely unique and all over the place. But in terms of trap and in terms of beat production, without question, without a doubt, this is some of the cleanest production that I've heard from a hip hop album this year. And I understand completely that the hip hop year has been extremely slow. I 100,000% understand that. But compared to the other hip hop albums that I heard, have heard this year, such as the Killer Mike e uh, album, I thought was decent. That trash ass DDJ, DDG. I love you, my brother. I gave your album a zero. That shit was hot ass. I'd rather listen to me squeeze out juicy wet farts than listen to your album. But that's a discussion for another day. Shout out DDG. I listened to the Ray Shrimmer joint. I wasn't really feeling it. We obviously got Uzi. Uzi's was okay. Thugs. I was actually a pretty good fan of the Young Thug joint. I gave that joint a 6 out of 10. Gunna. I thought Gunna was eh. I wasn't really feeling Gunna. You know, this is something a little underground. Navy Blue, he had a nice album. Um, um, L. Michael's Affair and and um and Black Thought, they had a nice little album. Katra Amine, RxK Nephew, I thought his was okay. Destroy Lonely, I'm a slander. That album was not good. I don't care what anybody says. The Larry June album with Alchemist, that has some extremely nice production on there with them. That nice, chill, laid back, jazzy a little bit. You know, just a laid back album. 
you know, and, and obviously Jack Harlow, like I'm naming off these albums because I'm naming off the hip hop albums that I have heard that I was honestly like, okay, these albums are pretty cool. You know, and you know, the Logic album, I, you know, I thought that Logic album was just okay, you know, compared to Vinyl Days, you know, I thought it was just okay. I thought Vinyl Days was better. But in terms of just clean ass production, in terms of quality production, this is, this is, this is like, and I know we're not done with it. This is some of the cleanest production I've heard all year. And the album's not even done yet. We're just on track 10. I'm impressed. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely impressed. Like, this sounds... I still need to, like, feel like... I feel like I'm not getting my whole opinion off right. Like, I hope everyone understands where I'm coming from. But compared to those other albums that I listened to, those other albums had... Now, what I will say... But, and we're not done with the album yet, like I said. I feel like those albums, the certain specific albums, such as The Navy Blue, the, the uh, L. Michaels Affair with A Danger Mouse... I do feel like those ones will have most likely better lyricism and bars and cadence and delivery. But in terms of just clean quality production that doesn't sound all messed up, this one has it for sure. Track 10, I know. Plus Travis's vocals sound really clean too, by the way, as well. Ooh. This sounds like a Young Thug beat. Young Thug is here. I'm, I'm predicting Young Thug is here. Oh shit, I almost pulled something in my hip. Stop playing with me. Young Doug. This nigga playing with my. Is that Doug? Who did they have work? Damn. I'm really disappointed that Young Thug wasn't on that. That sounded like a Young Thug song. Yo. Production on that song really not. Yo. Whoever worked on the mixing. Yo. I, I'm so, Yo. I'm on my knees. <laughs> I'm on my knees. Whoever mixed and engineered this shit. Yo. Show yourself. Show yourself. Who, who, who mixed and engineered this? Shout out to the producers. Shout out to Travis. Because obviously you already know that he... Had to overlook and see, make sure that things are good and nice. But, yo, okay, that's one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to get on my knees for, for some niggas. But just understand, if I were like a woman or something, I'd be down on my knees and asking what was good with you. The engineers and mixers, they, they went insane on this one. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Track 11, T Topia wins. T Topia twins. Twin bitches. Twin bitches. Someone's on here. Twin bitches shopping. Twin bitches. Fucking NBA young boy. NBA young boy. Twenty one and twenty one and fucking twenty one and fucking NBA young boy. I was not expecting NBA young boy to be on here. Now with now with young boy just hitting ad libs in the back. Has NBA young boy and Twenty One been on a track together before? Yo, that. Before we get to the next track, that toes bar was insane. And I'm not saying insane that that was like a crazy good bar. He suck her toes until she nut? Is that even humanly possible? If you bust off of getting your feet sucked, you're a fucking freak. Enter yourself into the mental institution, you're a fucking freak. Track 12, Circles Circus. Circus Maximus. Are these the front row seats you That's Tizo touchdown again. I know you're not getting me this time. Tizo touchdown. Tizo touchdown again. Tizo touchdown. This sound like a Kanye type beat. This sound like a Kanye type beat. We're coming. We're coming. I'm coming. Ooh, caca. Dude. Please, dude. Please, please. Abel! 
Abel's here! Abel's here! Ooh, Abel, yes! Even though I'm skipping- Now this? Now this? EXO fans, I gotta talk to y'all. Certain EXO fans, certain EXO fans. That is the example, that is the example of a verse that I wanna hear from Abel. I don't wanna hear the nonsense that I, cause cause now, now that a few, that, now that a week has passed since we gotten K-pop, now I can tell you, that motherfucker dude. Now I can tell y'all, I was seeing people say that Abel carried K-pop. Yeah, sorry, no. I, and, and see the thing, like, you know, people can go back and watch all of my previous The Weeknd reactions. Like, I love The Weeknd, bro. I love that, man. Went and saw him in concert and everything, sung all the songs to heart's content. Hell, I even went to the con I, I even went to the concert and contracted COVID for that nigga. That's how much dedication I went to see that motherfucker. Anyways, now that a whole week has passed since K-pop had dropped, I said it in the beginning and I'm even say it now. That was... B uh, some below the bar the weekend that we got on that track i don't care what anybody says no one will change my mind and i love that man but that is the example of the quality that i expect from him okay that sounds crazy with how i'm saying it like i own the man but that's just because i know not only do i know but i know millions of others know the talent level of able so that is why when i hear something like that your vocals are on point. Your lyrics are on point. Everything is on point. But when it comes to the K-pop song, I, I didn't like what he delivered on there. I didn't. But what he did on Circus Maximus, I loved what he what he delivered. I love that. Track 13, Parasail. That's what you call, that's what you call, that's what you call a good the weekend verse. That's what you call a good the weekend verse. Who the hell is this? I need a who the hell is this counter, bro. Someone hit the comments and tell me how many times I said who the hell is this. Who is that? Who the hell is that? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look at genius. I don't know who the fuck this is. Is that the gorillas? Young Lean. I was just watching Dave Chappelle's show in DC from 2000 yesterday. Yo. Like, I like the delivery so far on this one. There he is! There he is! There he is, young thug! There he is! Nothing gets me bricked up more than hearing Travis say stick to the code. Who are you trying to impress with this? Who are you trying to impress with this production? Relax. Now that you now that you shouted out Kanye, bring him out. Bring him out. Bring bring him out. That that is nice. Who the mother? Who the fuck? I was thinking about West Side Gun earlier. I was thinking about West Side Gun earlier. But now I was like, no, there's no way. Ow. I'm shocked that I'm shocked that West Side Gun is on here. Dude, that beat is nasty. Am I tripping for feeling like some of these beats have Kanye influence? Why does it sound familiar? 
Kanye! Who is is that Kanye? Man, I hopped out the chair like he came home with the milk. Dude, that beat is insane though. Holy shit. Is that is that Travis wild ass screaming like that's that Kanye? This shit sound like it finna transform. No, 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 no. I gotta check. Is that is that Kanye? This sounds like Yeezus type shit. It's Cuddy. It's Kid Cuddy. This feels like a yo. The fucking Scots are back. The Scots are back. Oh, he hadn't came on yet. Fuck, I spoiled it. Come and get it, get it. Wow. Hmm, on BD. Hmm, on BD. I'm sorry, I love y'all. Hmm, on BD. Hmm, on BD. Dude, dude. I was not. Wow, so far. Is anybody else getting this vibe? Because there were a few times in this video where I brought up Kanye because there are a lot of tracks on here that remind me of Yeezus. And that is one of them. And there were also a few other songs. I'm like, dude, is Kanye going to be on this thing? Is Kanye going to be on this thing? Because throughout this majority of this thing, it's been giving off that Yeezus inspiration. Now, maybe I'm tripping. I have no clue. But when I'm listening, I'm like, man, this really sounds like something. This sounds like something that Kanye could be on. Let me update y'all on some more things. I'm thinking like, like I said, I'm, I'm still standing on the um, side of the production. This is still without question. Like, it sounds like this would, took years to build up on. It sounded like, yo, we're not going to hand these niggas just anything. We want to, like, it, 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 it sounds like a complete product. It sounds like a complete product with how the production and the vocals and everything are sounding. And I'm going to give it an example. I know this is not really a fair comparison, but just in quality's sake, I'm going to bring in Donda, for example. Donda, in my personal opinion, did not have good quality in terms of vocals and certain beats. And what I mean by that is on some certain songs, you can literally hear like the like the the beat in like Kanye's headphones when he was rapping a certain verse and that's what I mean by quality like dude there's like no nonsense no fucking smoke detectors there were a lot of people that got on me when I was reviewing the Gunna album and I was bringing up the smoke detector like dude I'm sorry that I like critically listening to albums in a certain way that point blank period bottom line that is just shows everybody you can come up on the fucking mic on any level and do anything and it doesn't matter the quality and to me that is bad quality if you're coming up on your album and you have a damn smoke detector playing in the background what should we say should we say that's good quality or should we say that at your level that you're at with over 30 plus million listeners you at that point should be like yo i should make sure that this isn't in this album but he didn't make sure because he knows that hey i could put this shit out niggas gonna love it, it, it niggas gonna love it anyway shout out to fuck you mean fuck you mean is a hard song but i'm not gonna sit here and not point something out that needs to be pointed out other people might not point that out but i will i did not like that on that gunna album that it was that that was the quality that was given i didn't like that but in terms of this I like the quality on this thing. There, I haven't heard anything nonsense at all. I haven't heard any kind of nonsense. So from the production to the beats that were selected, like, and I love how hard hitting the beats is. Like, you can tell that this was made to be like a like a raid, like a rager type album, something that you can go crazy to. I'm having a lot of thoughts about a past event, but I'm not gonna bring up that event. But just hearing this, the like, it's just it's just all of these beats are extremely, extremely hard hitting. A hundred thousand percent, and like it's like I said, I've listened to a lot of hip hop albums. Like, I'm gonna go down that list later but in terms of hard hitting beats like actually hard hitting unique sounding beats this one has it this one for sure has it um track 18 telekinesis holy moly donut shop 
Future, future, future. Now that's someone I can hear immediately. Future, dude. I'm getting like, I'm getting more Kanye vibe. Two chains? Why? At this point, I'm saying anyone. I'm sorry. Wow, I Okay. Nice. Nice. Ooh, that outro is nice. I like that outro. I love that outro. <laughs> Nick, you're stupid. James Blake is 100,000%. Is that James Blake? I'm not spoiling it, but... For sure, yeah, James Blake, for sure. Metro! Ooh. This dude give off that James Blake vibe, for sure. Ooh, 21 again? 21 again? Nice. Relax. Relax. I love James Blake's vocals on this thing, bro. James Blake never disappoints with the vocals, though. That's the thing. Plus the Metro production, I forgot all about that. Metro produced this thing as well. Ooh. And ladies and gentlemen, that that is that is Utopia. Probably potentially one of, if not the biggest, most anticipated, highly anticipated album of the year. And I'm looking down this track listing right now, and I'm obviously looking at you know who showed up on the produ who, who showed up to produce some of the tracks. Like we had Pharrell, we had Kanye popped up in one of the production songs um, on um, Telekinesis. Uh, Metro obviously came through. Hit Boy came through. Mike Dean came through and produced something. Benny X, Benny X came through. Tay Keith came through. And w when I go through these songs and I'm seeing who produced some of these songs, when I go through and see, you know, the engineers, when I go through and see the features and all that stuff, it just makes me say to myself that this all makes complete sense in it a hundred thousand percent and, and like like these are all the best of the best you know wheezy came on here wonder girl came and produced something it's like when you have these specific certain producers come up on your album some of the best of the best producers by the way alchemist the alchemist came on and produced something so it's like when you get into that level when you have kanye and the alchemist on your album plus you have mike dean and metro we're we're creeping into some territory where this is going Going to be an extremely insane album because these are some of the best producers some of the best hip-hop producers of all time and some of the best upcoming producers of all time so that is one thing that i will point out like kanye and that's why i was getting the kanye vibes because kanye came on here and produced some songs and that's why i got the kanye vibes so he and actually on the screen this is every single hip hop album that I have heard so far this year and the ratings will be right next to them. I don't know where it'll be, but these are all albums that I've heard this year. And here are my hip hop albums. Well, not hip hop albums of the year. Here are my albums of the year, completely different from my hip hop albums. This has the potential to be up there. You know, it's gonna take a lot to pass scaring the hoes for me. I haven't really heard a lot of extremely insane hip hop albums this year. But in terms of, and when I say insane, I will like say like mind blowing. Like I've heard some pretty good hip hop albums. Like I said, like I feel like the, um, I feel like the Billy Woods album was extremely good. The Navy Blue album, like I said, was good. I feel like the, the Black Thought album was pretty good. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say a uh, little Yachty because that album wasn't hip hop. In terms of just straight quality, 
production quality, vocal quality, this album for sure is number one in terms of that. But in terms of entirety, obviously for me, I have to take time and re-listen to this thing again. Off rip though, two songs that I can't stop thinking of. Hyena, I cannot stop thinking about that song right now. I will for sure go back and play the hell out of that song. And the track with Drake. Um, when I look at this thing for track one all the way down to 19, this is what makes music so beautiful. I And I feel like not many artists can pull this off. Not many artists can pull off a, oh wow, the, the, the features are hitting. I feel like guys that can pull that out, pro probably Travis, most 100,000% Travis, um, Drake, Kanye, I feel like there's only, like Kendrick, I feel like there are only a specific handful of people that can hide features. J. Cole hit his features on um, the fall off and that first drop. That was a pretty nice experience as well. But I feel like that is what makes it so fun when albums like these come out, when you listen to all the songs and then you notice these specific certain artists. I was throwing motherfucking names all front, off and down. I was saying 2 chains. I was saying Kanye damn near every single song. But some of them I was right though. Like I knew Young Thug. Like, so first First of all, I like the features that was on this thing. I thought there would have been a few more, like I thought Quavo would have made an appearance. Um, I'm surprised Lil Baby didn't make an appearance. A lot of you motherfuckers thought those goddamn Nigerians was Kendrick, Baby Keem. Let's relax. They're just random Nigeria guys from 2008. Chill. I like the features. Um, I, it's like I said, when Meltdown came on, that, that felt like a sick, it didn't sound identical to Sicko Mode, but it feels good to hear that Drake and um, Travis combo. The energy Travis brought on this thing. I really, 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 love the energy the damn near every single beat sounded extremely aggressive extremely bassy extremely hard hitting and that's where the vibe that i get from this album an extremely hard hitting hip-hop trap album dude that's the vibe that i get from it um so I, I really don't think that i have anything else to say about this thing other than i enjoyed it to an extreme extent and that it a hundred thousand percent has that opportunity to be in literally my most favorite hip-hop albums of this year so um please consider liking please consider subscribing and i'm gonna tell you all this right now after this album I'm going to be taking a little break. Like, it's not going to be a long break. It's going to be probably like a week, week and a half. Mentally, I'm not, you know, just all of this stuff is like mentally draining me a little bit. And, you know, your boy, Mr. 2K God, just needs a little break. So, uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't miss your boy too much. It's not going to be too long. It's only going to be pro probably like a week, a week and a half. So, yeah, your boy need a break. So, and I'm glad this is something that I can, you know, um go on break with wow i really enjoyed this thing i really enjoyed this thing so yeah shout out to all the hidden features um shout out to travis this thing actually sounded pretty well put together i love the production on this thing like i said love the vocals from top to top from top to bottom and it's like i said when you have this magnitude of people on your production on your engineer team on your mixing team it has the extreme high potential of being something extremely fucking special and i can 100 percent say this was uh an experience and i feel like the experience would have been even higher even more if this nigga performed at the pyramids now that would have made this shit go even crazier if he did the shit at the pyramid man and that's iconic within itself like performing at the fucking pyramids that's insane so yeah i'll see y'all soon i don't know when but i'll see y'all soon this beer boy mr 2k god let me know how y'all felt about the album let me know what y'all favorite song was let me know how y'all felt about the whole album in its entirety and uh yeah this beer boy mr 2k god and um wow this is over already and i'm out this bitch